Hey you guys, hope you're doing well. Uh, today I wanted to come to you and talk to you about if you are feeling or if your adult child makes you feel like you're a bad parent or if you think you're a bad parent. Usually a lot of those cases are the adult child who has gone astray or is, who's struggling. They come back and they blame you as the mom for anything and everything that's ever gone wrong in their life. Uh, maybe why they're not successful, etc. So I want to talk a little bit about that. And for those of you that are new here, my name is Sally Harris, and I help desperate moms of defiant adult children. I help the moms regain their own life by creating a plan and um, that is going to provide hope, peace, and health, ultimately for the mom. So after the video, I'll put a link to my discovery call. It's a free call. So if you're a mom dealing with these issues, I would love to talk to you. So does your child actually blame you for everything. Um, maybe if they're not successful, like I said, because I think we have to realize first and foremost that um, raising a child is not exact science. <laughs> and there's no manual, right? And I think every one of us moms <clears throat> has felt that, especially when they're babies and we don't know what we're doing. We're like, where's the manual? There's no manual for this thing. It's so frustrating, right? Because you're nervous and you don't know what you're doing. Well, then fast forward and they're growing up and then they come back and tell you that everything you did was wrong. And that's hard to not take that personally. So what I want to share with you is something, um, a good trick to be able to um, come back at them with and a way to resolve, hopefully resolve these issues. And if it doesn't resolve the issues, then you definitely need to put some boundaries in place. So um, just remember, Number one, we all make mistakes. As moms, dads, we all make mistakes. And the thing is, is we can provide the most caring, loving home and your child can have issues launching into adulthood. And at the same time, another mom could have made tons of mistakes and those children can turn out just fine. So there is no, it's not set in stone um, at all, as I'm sure most of you know. So, if you're asking yourself, am I a bad parent? Or if your child's telling you that you're a bad parent, more, more so that case where it's always a battle. Um, one, the best way to rid yourself of the feeling of that is to dismiss her complaints entirely, right? You know, argue, you're gonna get into a battle. I mean, we all know that's not gonna work. So if you haven't yet tried that, you can come back to this video after you realize that doesn't work. <laughs> I promise you it won't. Um, that's not going to work. So what do we need to do instead? The best way is to replace the self-blame, whether we're doing it to ourselves in our mind, it's our self-blame, or if we're hearing it from our child that we're a horrible mom and this is, this is your fault and that's your fault. Regardless of where it's coming from, the self-blame that we have, we need to replace that with self-compassion. And this will allow you to look more closely at yourself basically in a kind way that will have more of an open mind. And you notice how, let's say your child is coming at you, coming at you talking about how you did this wrong and that wrong and everything wrong. And you notice how I'm, just, I'm not saying about what the child's supposed to do. I'm talking about you, the mom, what you're supposed to do. Because as I always say, you can only control yourself. So what do you do? Well, if you're, if you're focusing on yourself like you should be, you will have, when you start to be able to do that, you, as you start to have more compassion for yourself, it being able to admit, and despite our mistakes, right, it also helps us to see that, you know, truly there is a gap between our intention when we're raising our kids and what we thought it was versus what they experienced. There's always going to be a gap. You know, two people can walk out of a conversation and walk out with two different mindsets and, um, you know, thoughts about what was just said or what they just experienced. And, you know, one person's intention is not always the other person's experience. Because remember, um, you know, their perception, anyone's perception is their reality. So keep that in mind. So what do you do? Basically call a truce and with your child and it starts with you, mom first. Uh, it doesn't mean that you're wrong and she's right. It doesn't matter who's wrong or who's right and that's what you need to remember. Um, because typically we always justify and we always defend and like I said, that ends up in 
total chaos and nobody gets anywhere. So rather say something like, I'm sorry that what I did when you were younger or whenever, I'm sorry that what I did affected you the way it did. Even if you know the facts of that whole situation and you disagree, all of that, it doesn't matter. Because by doing this, not one time, it's gonna be a continual thing, but if you do this enough times, you're removing yourself as the enemy for your child and then they'll have to go find a different target or they're going to have to start, start taking responsibility because they can't keep coming at you if you're constantly coming back to them calmly and, you know, doing this. Because if you're saying, you know, I'm sorry for whatever I did, I'm sorry it affected you that way. And you're calm and you're not raising um, a battle or anything with them. So it's quite interesting and I encourage you to try it. And if any of you are living that right now, I would love to hear from you and just to see like, how that worked for you um, because it typically works really really well and again if you've always been the battle type person and then you change your way and you start talking to them like this they're gonna look at you like you're nuts and they're gonna be like what like <laughs> this is not my mom uh, and you're like no it's not because you need to just you, we can take responsibility for what we did apologize that it it hurt them the way it did and I'm not talking about major, major issues, trauma, that kind of stuff. That's different. But this is like where the adult child is coming back, blaming you for, you know, all the things that they had or didn't have or experiences that they had or didn't have, all of those kinds of things. So I hope that helps. And again, if, it's, if that does not help over a period of time, which it usually does, um, otherwise, other than that, like it's basically verbal abuse. You know, when your child, adult child, is coming at you like this. So that's something to keep in mind too, that that's where you have to start putting up those boundaries around them. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. That is self-care for sure. Um, so I hope that helps someone. I'd love to hear from you um, if you've ever experienced something like this and how it has worked for you. Um, or if you're gonna do it and let me know how it worked out. So I hope you guys have a great night and I'll see you soon. Thanks.